My full name is Mildred Ching Lao. What were, when were you, where were you born? I was born in Honolulu, Hawaii. In what year were you born? 1925. What were your favorite toys as a child? Toys? We didn't even have any toys. We used to make our own toys. Okay. We used to use milk covers, because there were milk covers that covered the bottles. And we washed that and we would play with that. We, d we didn't have money to buy toys. Okay. So we made our own toys. Uh, what did you like to do for entertainment? Entertainment? We actually had to work most of the time. We, we didn't have any heater, so I had to boil water every day in the yard. And then when the water was hot, I would have to carry the buckets up. And everybody had one bucket to bathe with. We didn't have any heater. Okay. What is your favorite grade school memory? Okay, in, in fourth grade, I remember I had to write for the teacher the different assignments on the board for her every day. And then when we got finished with our work, she had us make rugs, the braided rugs. And Issa came, she gave, she offered either 25 cents or a basket. And we never had a basket before, so we took an Easter basket. Well, we studied hard in school because my mom said, you listen to the teacher, and so we did. What do you enjoy doing now? I enjoy reading. I still go to the library. I used to take Papa to the library when he was 17 months, and I still go to the library to borrow books every three weeks. Okay. What is your favorite place in the whole wide world? I guess home. <laughs> home is where you can be yourself and you be comfortable. What? Family can come over. What inventions have changed, changed, changed the way you live? I guess you? having the TV, because when we were little, we didn't have TV. And we didn't have TV and the radio until we were teenagers. Yeah, yeah. think about it, that's right. What uh, one thing um, you, do you wish had not changed over the years? Oh, the family. Having family is important. That shouldn't change. Okay, hey, I'm going to do some printed Ed Wonderly Dada. Okay. Have you ever had any mystery when you were a teacher in school? Well, uh, the only mystery I can think about is why some children take a it takes a long time for some children to learn, but everybody can learn. So it takes patience. Have That's a mystery. <laughs> okay. How many board games have you ever played? Yeah, shoots and ladders. That was one of them. Have shoots you ever and ladders. Shoots and ladder even? Or yeah. checkers. We used to play checkers. 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 What about chess? No, I never did play chess. Hmm. What? is the scariest thing you've ever seen when you were young? I guess this would be in connection with the movie. My, my sister and I would go on Saturday nights. They had chapter movies. This is about the shadow. They say, who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? The shadow knows. And every week there would be a, a chapter. And that was kind of scary. What language do you speak besides English? Well, oh, I, I used to speak Chinese. Okay. We, we were Hakka. Yeah, Chinese is different dialects. My mom was Hakka. Okay. When I got married, I had to learn Lungdu and Punti, different dialects with my mother-in-law. You know, I could, I could talk a whole couple, couple of hours with her, but I haven't talked for so long. Forget already. <laughs> Did your parents call you by your English or Chinese name? Chinese name. Okay. We spoke Chinese at home. So when we went to school, everybody had to learn English. 
even the Japanese people, they, they all they all spoke Japanese, so we had to learn. And the thing my mom told us was, you have to listen to the teacher. So we had to listen to the teacher and learn. But did you give me as your grandparents? How, when you were young, how old were you? I didn't see any grandparents. Our grandparents were, they died in China. We didn't have any grandparents. You're lucky. You have, you have grandparents, you have great grandparents. We how never saw any of them. How do you cook now that you are old? Well, I, I, I heat things. <laughs> I don't know whether cooking or what. Well, with the microwave, you can just do anything, yeah? But I used to cook every day when the children were young. Do you eat the same thing or different thing for dinner every day? Oh, a little different. I have rice and I have my tofu and I try to have some vegetables and some meat. Okay. You're going to be loud though. Have you ever felt sad? Yeah, I guess I felt sad when my dad had to go back to China. I was 12 then, Why did and I never saw him after that. Really? Yeah, he got deported. Oh. What does wow. deporting mean? Well, he was not a citizen of the United States. He was a China citizen. So he and never came back to the... No, he never came back, yeah. Where were you born? Where were you born? Where were I? I was born in Honolulu. Yeah. My mom talked about getting a baby in the, in in the, the bathroom. House. In the bathroom. <laughs> I know my mother-in-law had her kids in the in the bedroom by herself. Did you by have a she, pet when By you herself were with her so? older young? child outside the door crying and she's doing it herself. Young? Amazing. Hey. Did you have a pet when you were young? I think my sister had a dog. But I didn't really care. My sister Blanche had a dog. Mm. But my children had pets. They had birds. Mm. And they had a rabbit that I tried to cook and nobody ate. And then we, we went to the farm fair. We brought back four little chicks and for each one of them. And they raised the chickens. Uh -huh. Then I taught them how to kill chickens. Kill <laughs> chickens? Mm. Somebody has to kill the chicken that you eat. Okay. You know, at Next camp one. you see the chickens? They got chickens all over the roads nowadays. Did you have a board game when you were young? Did you, ha did you have board games when you were young? Well, we only had checkers, I think. Hmm. That's hmm. about all we had. We played, we played with yeah, homemade kind. Isaiah, mm -hmm. you know the you know the, the oh, milk covers. Uh -huh. yeah. They used to have a, kind of a cardboard cover on the on the bottle, mm -hmm. and we used to wash that up and save it, mm -hmm. and we used to play with that. And you make a stack and you um, you hit it and you turn it over. If you turn it over, you, they're yours. Really? And you know popsicle sticks. Yeah. We used to save those and play a game with that. We used to make our own games. We didn't have money to buy. Wow. Okay. Now. Room six used to cut. Huh? Who are your students when you like, say Who did that? you teach when you when you when what, you were what, at home? what about the students? Uh, have, um, how many students have you teach when you're at home, like oh. kids or? I've I've taught for what I had 27 years and and those days I had there were 37 in one class. Oh, wow. Can you imagine 37 children in one class? Oh, and we had big classes in those days. Now they only have half of them. And that's a me in there. So you count the number of people. Have you ever made your mother angry? I must have. Can't be such a goody goody. Huh? Yeah. Huh. Sometime or other, I must have. Do you have any memory of it? Ah, uh, my sister gave my mom a bad time. I was the youngest girl, so I should have been spoiled. But I would told my mom I had to be a good girl, so I used to take over. You know, my sisters were playing the army game. But I'm sure, 
She must have been ticked off with me sometimes. And sometime. that's all of Daniel's questions. Couldn't be good all the time. That's yep. it. Have you ever gotten angry before? Gotten angry? Have you ever gotten angry before when you were young? Uh, not really. I guess sometimes you get kind of mad with somebody, but not that bad. What but my you? sister, my sister used to be mad and she wouldn't talk for two, three weeks and that was awful. Uh, what did you do when you got angry? And how did you overcome it? Well, I, I tried not to be angry too long because it doesn't help you. Mm -hmm. You know, it makes you feel bad. So I'd rather not be angry that long. Did you do everything together with your sister when you were young? Well, I took care of my two younger brothers because we had... But did you do everything with your sister? No, I had, I had three sisters. They're older. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they, they did other things. They didn't care to read. Okay. So have you ever felt bothered by your brother or sisters and wanted to be alone? I guess it would be natural to be, but I had two younger brothers I had to take care of, so I used to take them all over the place. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure they must have been a pain sometimes. <laughs> have, you, have you had ever had your own room before? No way. Huh. Okay. Uh, we, we, we used to sleep in a bed, you know, and the kind uh -huh. of bed we had, we had boards. It mm. was just a board. We sleep on that, and there were about three, four of us in the, on the bed. Okay, mm -hmm. so... No mattresses. How old were you when you finally had your own room? I don't think I ever had my own room before I was married. Okay. I always had to be bunking with somebody else. Okay. Because we had a big family. How do you feel about Papa when he was a child? He was, he was fine. He had no problems with me. Hmm. He worked hard. He worked since he was 11. He was a paper boy. Wow. And he worked all the way. What was it like when you were teacher, when you were, when you were a teacher in the school? Oh, it was wonderful. I, I, I loved it. What grade did you teach? I started off in kindergarten and I ended up going into every classroom and helping the teachers teach. Hmm. Um, I could use the one book, one, one picture book mm -hmm. that I could take to every classroom and it would apply. Did and I could children, use the same questions but they would give me different answers depending on their experience. Mm -hmm. It was kind of neat. We had this, we had about three, three, four schools that had kind of low scores. Mm -hmm. We were trying to up the scores so we were mm -hmm. teaching the teachers how to teach them. Did the children cooperate with you or did they play around? Well, you, you just have to get their attention. The ones, you always have one or two that, that play around, but you get their attention somehow. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long did it take you to get the students' attention? To get their attention? Yeah. Well, not very long. Mm. Otherwise, you know, the whole class is waiting, so they better shape up right. Yep. Was teaching hard for you? Well, it was a lot of work, but I enjoyed it, mm. especially helping the slowest ones. Mm -hmm. Every child is capable of learning. Yeah. Do you always have good students that listen? No. You have those that don't listen, but you have to make it so that they would want to listen to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. What did you do when the students didn't listen to you? Well, I made sure I went up to them and I got their attention. Huh? No, I, I would, I would, I would uh, go up to them when, when they're feeling good, you know, when they're not naughty. Uh -huh. And I would tell them, I like you, but I don't like what you do. Okay. And there's a difference because every kid I like, like some teachers, they hate certain kids because they're really naughty and they don't want the kid in the room. And then they end up in my room. But I try to make the kid know that I like him, but he has to change. And it works, mm -hmm. if you're sincere about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you ever gotten angry with your, with your students when you were teaching? Oh, sure. Mm. Um, how was life like when you were a little child? We had to work. 
Wow. Okay. There was no heater, mm -hmm. so I had to boil water every day. Mm -hmm. Out in the yard, we had this big, big can. I filled it with water, and, and I would start the fire with papers and push in boards all the time. And in between, I would read. That kind of sounds And I had to carry the buckets up because we had no heater. Mm. Okay. We only had cold water. How big were the buckets? The regular bucket, so everybody had one bucket to bathe in. So I think it made me strong, in a way. Okay, so was there TV? Uh, no, we didn't have TV when I was growing up. Yeah. We finally had a radio. My sister, my older sister had a boyfriend and he gave us a RCA. And then I had to, I had to listen to it and, tra and translate in Chinese to my, my mother, my auntie, my uncle. But we, we didn't have any, no TV, no radio, until I was a, I think I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was there movie theaters with big screens like our days when you were a little child? <sighs> did we have movie theaters? Yeah, I guess we did have, but we never had money to go. Okay. Because we sold newspapers, yeah. Yeah. We bought... Uh, a nickel for two papers, and we sold each paper for a nickel. So if we sold two, we made you a, nickel. a nickel. Yeah, we earned a nickel, and everything went to mom. Hmm. Because you you could buy you could buy a loaf of bread for a nickel before. Wow. Yeah, but now you gotta pay four dollars or something. Holy cow! Yeah. What did you do when you were bored? That board. Well, I, I would go walking. Before it was allowed, little, little kids could walk the streets. I would walk to my friend's house, it used to be several blocks away, mm -hmm. from Vineyard Street all the way down to Kukui Street. Wow. And it was okay, but now you don't see kids walking around. Yep. And I, I would read. I always had books. What games did you play when you were a child? What did we play? We played checkers. We played milk covers. You would make a stack and and hit the milk cover with your with your le lead, and if it turned over, then it's yours. Sounds kind of like and, dogs. And then popsicle sticks. You know, after we ate yeah. the, we would save it and color one side. I don't know. They had to be one certain color. Mm -hmm. we, we made our own games. Room six, we would cut that up yeah. and 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 throw it somehow. And then we also made our own, we, like stilts, climb on top of stilts. Nice. Everything was made. We didn't have money. Huh. And that's all.